What's up everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have Deadpool. A lot of requests for Deadpool. <laughs> so he's still a super popular character. He is hilarious. So I totally understand. Even though there's a lot of drawing tutorials on Deadpool already. I might as well. I thought I'd do one myself. So let's go. So I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. Take your time, right? So we'll start with his eyes, right? So center point of my page is about here. I'd say that's where his chin will end up being. So his head is like up here, right? So this is the center point, And then we're going to come up a little bit just about here and leave enough room for the top of his head. So we'll start with the eye. So simple sort of human lemon shaped sort of eye, right? So we just curve a line across. like that and then we'll bring it down underneath and around like so and his eyes are just white so that makes it easy for us you leave eye distance between so the width of your eye whatever width you drew it as leave that distance in the middle and that's where the next eye will start so you can fit a whole eye in between here that's what you're going for and then this comes around like so and then we do sort of the same thing down here so you're aiming for this sort of lemon sort of shape like so right so then he's got those big black diamonds that are kind of around his eyes right so we will start we'll start here so we'll go just in out from the corner of his eye, we'll curve a line down this way. Like that. You can keep them symmetrical, you know, do the same thing on the other side if you want. Or you could do them one at a time, so, but it's up to you. We will go up this way then. And then I might as well just finish one at a time. So we go out that way. And then we'll bring it down. It's about there. And then we bring it back in underneath. So it's going to go into there. And then we do that same thing pretty much on this side. So we'll bring it up about there and then we go in and then we'll bring it down like so and it kind of carves around in here down to there and then there's all lines and stuff on the inside right so he's got another actual stitching line that goes around so it kind of comes out from here. So it kind of disappears in here, but it comes out this side and then comes down. So it's like a leather sort of stitching line that goes around here. And it kind of disappears when it goes around on this side. You know, it's kind of a perspective thing. So it just like goes into this side of his face. Just there. We can do the same thing pretty much on this side. So. Kind of like that, right? And then we got like these lines on his eyebrows, right? So we go up to there. And then we kind of bring it down here. And then this is kind of like a frown line or something that comes around his eye there. And then comes down his cheek. And does it curve back up? Yeah, it kind of does. It curves back up into the corner of his eye just there. And then this will go diagonal up to here. And you might have like a 
frown line or something just in there, but not much. It's mostly sort of texture lines for his cheeks and things. Mm, so that's like his eye, and then like eyelid going in there. Maybe like an eyelid line underneath. And maybe a little eyelid line coming around here. So roughly like that, and then we'll do this over here. So we'll go up to the corner first, and then we'll bring it down to here. And then we'll go down like so. And then this goes around up into the corner of his eye. And we could curve around in there, and you have sort of eye line curve lines coming around there and going down there you're just sort of copying the other side it could be like texture line for his cheek or something there and then we go diagonal up like so and like a frown line or something that way and maybe like an eyelid line in here So then, up from the corners of his head, we'll do a stitching line just going up this way. Right? And then we'll bring this together so it goes sort of in, around, down, like that. So it kind of, it's kind of got a couple of bumps on it. And then we'll go down the side of his face. So we'll go down this way. And it's not like totally straight. It kind of curves down like so. Bumps out here maybe for the side where his ears are underneath the fabric of his costume. So it kind of goes in and then bumps out slightly there. Just beside his eyes. You know, because he's he does have ears under there, so I guess they have to sort of press out through the costume. And then we will go all the way down to his chin. So his chin is just down here, right? So we'll give him a relatively square chin. Right? And so if you're wondering about distance, eyes to the top of the head is the same as eyes to chin, roughly. Okay, here to here, about the same as here to here. Right, your eyes are about halfway down the head, especially when a character has no hair like this. It just has like a flat top of his head. So here to here is roughly the same as here to here. And then we'll just join these to the side of his face. Like so. And then we got these lines that come down from his eyes. Go down, just his mask. Now these are stitching lines, right? So if you wanted extra detail, you could just add like more lines around it if you're doing a pencil. But uh, if not, you know, just one line works. I can't really do it with a Sharpie. Um, and if you want to add a shadow for his nose, but it's, it's not totally essential because you can't really see it in the mask. So, but you can add like sort of frown lines just sort of coming up there and maybe like a shadow for his nose but maybe at the bottom of these things so just like some hatching or something there just to show where his nose is like that Right, 
So now we'll go down and start doing his costume down below. So we can see a line for his neck here and here. And then his collar comes around underneath his chin. Just there. And he has like two layers to his collar. So we've got like a black layer. Comes around there. And then this has like some, some buckles and lines and things on them. So uh, lots of different details like this, which are optional, you know. Something else on this side as well. Like so, and this one comes down to like a strap, so you can't really see it much. And this one comes down here. And then we go around his neck again. And this one stops at the strap just about here. So he's got like this big strap that comes from his shoulder. So it like comes across his shoulder here. And it comes down like so and these can have some stitching lines on them as well you have some extra lines just coming up around like so and then his shoulder on the other side comes out here and this strap goes in, like so, up to there, and in. And then this has like some stitching lines on the edges as well. So you just follow that line around again, just give it an edge. Like so, and there's lots of these little sort of leather details on it. Right, so then shoulder, so shoulder comes out, big shoulder pad comes out there, and the other side. So this is a shoulder pad that comes down his arm. So it comes, bumps out here and then goes back in. Back up, back in. And then kind of goes up into that shoulder pad there. Like so. And then this has some more details on it. So like another line. Comes down into here. And then some more detail lines on it here. Edge lines, stitching lines, lots of this stuff on Deadpool. And this one goes around shoulder pad there. So we kind of do the same thing over here. So comes out, curves back in. Bring it up. And that's hard to see. 
way does that one go? So it goes up. It kind of comes back in here. Up to there. And this one just goes around because there's no strap on this part of his shoulder. So it just goes around like that. So then this comes down to there. And then we have like stitching line. There and then something that comes across his shoulder that way. Okay, so his arms are folded, right? So we can kind of see some fingers in here, but then the elbow comes down and up into the other armpit up this way, right? So we've got like a bump here. And then he's got these straps again. So we're like, we've got like another bump this way. And then his arm comes down like so. So that's like his elbow, and then his arm comes up here. So the top of his forearm is like here, right? So this is the forearm, comes this way. So the top of the forearm is across here. And he's got this strap coming across his wrist. So it like comes out around the inside of it here. And then this comes over around. Like that. And then the top of his hand goes in and we can see the starts of his gloves here. And the other arm comes in underneath, right? So it crisscrosses. So it's like, this is like his other forearm here. Like that. And then, so, Top of his glove sort of comes down into there. And this is like loads of lines on top. Like so. And his elbow on the other side here. And he's got like another sort of strap like this one. So it like curves down here. And it goes up around. his forearm there and then his elbow comes down kind of goes off the bottom of my page but we've got like another line going that way something else coming down and in that way and then the bicep goes up into here and joins this section there and then we have like another line there. And then another line for the strap that's on his arm. So that comes around like so. And that has like some edge lines on him. And then a stitching line there. And so then the stitching line comes around that way and can we see it go in underneath here yes just there so that's his arm going in underneath here so then on this forearm we have some more details and there's like a, a button or something on this strap two of them there so so this strap here right curves around so like there 
and then this comes down to there and then we give it like an edge line as well roughly like that and so then this has like a forearm line going that way and then one on his elbow there and then a box like line there so we can't see the bicep on this side we can just see fingers right so we can kind of see a finger sitting on this strap here so like it was around and they're relatively flat fingers they just come down like like so this is the side and you might be able to see another one there because they're gloves you know you could have stitching on the side and then this finger comes up over down this way down to there and we've got like some texture lines and if you go over any lines like this you can you can just erase them you know and then another one comes down this way comes back into here behind another sort of glove line right and we can see maybe a little bit of his bicep then on the top. So on his body, should we see some of his body here? Yeah, just coming down, say there. Right, so there's details along his chest. So we've got like a strap here. Down across, up to there. And then this has another section just here. Longer sort of section. And then the other side. There. This is the metal sort of buckle part. And right, so then he's got like these pockets or something, so like details on these pocket lines, and they've got like lines on the inside as well. One there, and then some more of these, like that, and something over here too. that and this sort of shape inside too like so and then align so coming down the center of his chest right down there and then align for chest armor plate going that way one coming across the top of his chest going this way and then one going diagonal up to there and then something down here and another one here and then that way. And something here as well. Like so. And then this has um, some more sort of lines coming across. So just like coming across here. Some more sort of stitching lines. Lots of these stitching lines on them. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, so then um, the handles of his sword just up here. Well, the handles of his, they're not swords, but those weapons that he carries behind his back. And so this comes down just, just these straight lines coming down like so. Similar thing on the other side. Like so, and if you want, you can add um, some texture lines on the inside for the grips. So that's just like this kind of stuff. So I was trying to see now, I think that's everything. So. Yeah, so sometimes if you thicken up some edge lines and stuff like that, it can make them stick out a little bit more, but. That's all I'm doing now, really. Um, Add a shadow just under his chin, just in here. Hmm. Yeah, but roughly, I think that'll have to do. That's how to draw Deadpool from Deadpool. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.